Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Workshop Wednesdays, that means for us that we're gonna be taking a look at some of the stuff that the Workshop from Team Fortress and 2 has to offer. We're gonna have two awesome taunts, two very epic hats, and also two weapon concepts that I bring to you today. If you are interested to find out what those are, please go ahead and watch the video and also subscribe to stay tuned for future content. Let's get right into it with the first two hats. Starting off with the rim shot. I'm just not gonna take too much time explaining what this hat is. It's just a soldier hat that takes the hat slot, not the cosmetic slot, so you can wear it with, for example, the antlers, uh, any kind of beard, or with a villain's veil if you want to. And it just looks like a very solid, cheap, but cool looking Team Fortress 2 soldier cosmetic if it gets added into the game. By golly, I'll probably wear it, at least at the start, when it's still hyped. When the hype is over, I'm probably never gonna wear it again, but still, it's a cool hat. Speaking of cool hats, we got beans for brains. They are very weird and cursed looking cosmetic for Pyro. I believe it is gonna be Halloween restricted because you can't really get those in into the normal cosmetic rotation because Valve just doesn't really do that. It's also paintable. You can have your very own brain gooby green, orange, white, black, whatever you prefer. It looks very odd and weird and strange and honestly disgusting. So <laughs> it's pretty much perfect for Halloween, you know, it's not more disgusting than any of the zombie skins for the, for the TF2 mercs. And the SFM render with the soldier is the weirdest thing you'll probably see this whole week. Um, another weird thing that I got for you is the Talos, which is a minigun skin, I presume. It might just be a concept for a unique weapon that has, you know, stats and everything attached. But I can't really tell. There was a link on the Steam Workshop page that probably would have explained it but that link is now invalid and I can't really you know go there because of that so anyway it looks very cool there's a video showcasing it that the only problem with said video is that the bullets don't really you know they they don't come out of the center of the minigun which makes it look rather weird however the gun itself is very spacey and that is within Team Fortress 2's limits of what may be put into the game the alien update has seen similar items being added into Team Fortress 2 and ever since the shoot Shooting Star was only a reskin for the Machina. I assume this is gonna be a reskin as well, however, I might totally be wrong in this. A weapon, however, that is most likely not just gonna be a reskin is the Chalky Bonk. <laughs> it's just chocolate milk pack for the Scout. Obviously gonna give him some status effects like the Criticola and Bonk Atomic Punch already do it for him. By the way, it has been created by the same guy or girl, I assume, that has also made or helped in making the Bread Space map, which I already showcased on this channel. Another item very similar to this is the Chalky Bonk Bottled. They're gonna be interchangeable, you know, two different styles for the same item in TF2 bottled and cartons, but that's totally not all. We also got the hovering hot hat, a taunt. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got a taunt. Those are the best. Honestly, I swear to God, there's so many cool taunts, animations, maps, just stuff in the workshop that no one ever takes a look at, and I'm so glad that I'm the, the one that's able to bring it to you today. It's got, like, the coolest source filmmaker animation that comes with the taunt on the workshop page. Please vote for it. Please. I'm... Uh, <laughs> This needs to get into the game somehow. And as a guy who isn't particularly tall myself, I can totally relate to this uh, little source filmmaker short animation. So I want it in game even more than any of you because I can relate. I can personally relate to the struggle of not being able to reach a wrench on the top shelf of your uh, workshop. Yes, that's because I'm an engineer. I actually went to an engineering school, if you hadn't known. So, uh, <laughs> it's, it totally fits my style of living, I guess. I don't know, I, I kind of failed engineering school. That's why I'm being a YouTuber now, yay! And last, but definitely not least, a looping taunt that battle break for soldier. It comes with three separate items that aren't what the soldier usually has, which is one, the art of war by Sun Tzu. Two, 
a box of explosives and three, a little can with stored liquid, which I can only assume to be liquor or booze or, you know, whatever you won't care. It might be water, who knows. Vodka, I, I, how, how am I supposed to tell? It's, it's in there. I, I can't see. Certainly can't taste it either. Indeed, probably the best item that we've taken a look at today. I want you all to right now go into the description of this video and please just click on the link, vote for the item, for I think it deserves a spot in this Team Fortress 2 game that we all love and play every single day. Thank you very much for watching today's and this week's episode of Workshop Wednesdays and I'll see you around maybe today because, well, I stood up early, it's currently 9am and I'm probably gonna make a second video today because, well, it's, uh, it's one of those days. It happens rarely, but it happens. Anyway, with all that out of the way, thanks for watching, goodbye, I'll see you soon.